so we're going to do the Biodex um, limits of stability test. And this is something good for the hips. This, the test does not move the ankle part of the machine, so it requires you to use a hip strategy. Whenever you do the training and you put it on level 12 or below, that's going to require you to use more of the, the ankles. So although it requires more balance, sometimes it's easier because people use their ankles a little better than they use their hips. Uh, Luke, go ahead and put your hands up there. I'm going to make sure you're in the right spot. It actually looks like you are right there. Move that one just about right there, right there. And then we're going to come over here, turn the machine on. And we're going to exit out of this. And we're in testing mode, so that's convenient. Limits of stability there. I'm not going to fill that in because that doesn't really change. And then go ahead and let go. There you go. Pretty comfortable in the middle there. So when I hit start loop, the platform is going to stay stable in this case, but you're going to try to make your dot go to the ball that is flashing. Okay, so I'm going to hit this. Get yours in the middle. You're always kind of off to your right a little bit. Yeah. That would conserve you. Okay, about right there. And then you'll see this one flash, so go to that one. Stay there for a half second, come back. Good. It makes you stay for like a half second, but there you go. And then you want to try to do it as fast as you can. Good. Takes a little bit of practice. See, you're trying to shift your head instead of shifting your, your uh, hips. Most people do that at first. There it's you weird. go. It is weird. Good. And this is a three trial test that you would get the results um, afterwards. Good. So although this is a test, I use this for training people, especially people that, like I said, that hip issues, even um, core stabilization, um, teaching people to, um, to shift their weight and, um, and maintain a stable spine. For instance, if, if I was using this for a back patient, I would have it on this mode versus the, the training mode where, where the platform is flexible.